The world I'm developing is uh, Arden, the world of William Shakespeare. And the goal really is to uh, put people inside of Shakespeare's words and language so that when they, let's say, go to a play, they don't sit in the audience asking themselves, what's, what's a bodkin? Um, and, and we feel that this kind of technology is just right for, for that kind of immersion, and it's something that really hasn't been tried with, with Shakespeare before. Digital technology is rapidly transforming all of society, and it's rapidly changing the expectations that all people, kids and adults, have about the organizations that they participate in. What is a business going to do in 20 years when all of the younger employees have grown up playing video games? You know, the, the human resource problem there is going to become, you know, our employees expect to be um, given instantaneous rewards, positive and negative, for the things they do. They expect autonomy to be able to, you know, go through the levels of the corporation. However, they're, they're not going to respond well to just getting orders. On the other hand, they'll be great at forming teams together and forming um, flat organizations. Translate all those lessons now into how the classroom is going to change. We've said for years that the sage on the stage model just isn't going to have much of a future. And for a while, that was sort of an opportunity statement. Like, oh, we can use video games, new technology to get away from that. And I think now we're in an era where things have to change. You might think that because it's digital media and involves uh, computers, that there would be in the 21st century a major emphasis on, uh, let's say, mathematics, math and science, logic. And uh, I, I actually feel like I need to push back against that because I think what's coming is a golden era for uh, writers and artists, illustrators. I, I actually think that the, um, what you might consider the liberal arts, classically understood, is going to get a major shot in the arm because to build a very good uh, entertaining, enlightening virtual environment requires the gamut of skills, everything from programming to understanding of history, culture, psychology, good writing, and uh, good visualization, and let's not forget really, really good audio, which seems to have a deeper effect on the emotions. So in that sense, it's something of a renaissance moment, no longer sending people to the moon, but uh, sort of building a moonscape in our dreams using the, the full flowering of, of human talent.